Omega Game Framework, a free plugin for Unreal Engine, gives you a simple way to add leveling and XP to your game. To add it, the first thing you need to do is create a leveling asset. Here we can set several values such as the level name and the XP name, as well as the max rank or level that this asset can ever reach. The value curve is used to determine what level this asset will be at whenever it reaches a certain amount of XP. For example, we can set it that we start level 1 at 0 XP, we reach level 2 at 100 XP, and we will reach level 10 at 1000 XP, and all of the rest of the levels will be filled in between. We also have some values for determining how the level information will be displayed in a widget. Now to actually use our leveling asset, we'll need to add a level component to some kind of actor. In the leveling component, we can go ahead and set the leveling asset we want to use. We can also change the XP gain rate, which determines how much our XP is multiplied by whenever we receive any. We can also decide how much XP we want to start with, which will in turn determine our starting level. There are a number of useful functions that come along with the leveling component, so it's worth looking through all of them when you have the time. For our purposes now, the main one we want to look at though is adding XP. This will naturally be used to add or remove XP from the leveling component. For testing purposes, let's go and add 10 XP to this character every 1.5 seconds. As you can see, the XP is being added and our level is updating when we reach 100%. We also have a handy interface that lets you quickly display level information inside a widget. For testing, I'm going to add a text block and a progress bar. Now under interfaces in this widget, look up widget interface leveling component. From there, we just need to attach our leveling component. In this case, I'll just use a soft actor reference in order to access our character in the level. Though, of course, you would set this up differently depending on the specific use case. And from there, we'll just go ahead and attach the necessary widgets. And as you can now see, our leveling information is displaying properly on the widget.